Calaroga Shark Media. I'm Johnny Mac with five good news stories. Delaney planned for months in secret to donate her kidney to her dad. Dad had a type of kidney disease that could lead to kidney failure. He objected to her undergoing the surgery. A day after his successful transplant surgery, dad learned the anonymous donor was indeed his daughter. She walked in the room wearing a hospital gown. She told ABC News she hopes her family story helps raise awareness for the need for organ donation. She says it hurts, but all the pain was worth it in the end, I think. Environmental group Ocean Cleanup said it removed around 25,000 pounds of trash from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It was the biggest extraction ever. Then the next month, they broke their own record by removing more than 40,000 pounds of plastic. The world's five ocean garbage patches the largest of which is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, pose dangers to the local ecosystem by entangling marine life and fishing nets, animals eating plastic and other debris. The ocean cleanup aims to remove 90% of floating plastic from the oceans by 2040. They believe that is an achievable goal. An electrician with a passion for preservation restored an ancient piece of home electronics, allowing a woman to hear her departed mother's voice. Linda had an old book of Frosty the Snowman with an electronic recording of her mother reading it to her. Corrosion had long since rendered the circuitry unusable, but Linda kept the book around for sentiment. Years went by, and as all mothers do, her mom passed away in 2020. Enter Lars, an electrician who came by to fix something in Linda's house. In the course of his work, he came across the frosty book. Linda said, I was really shocked because I didn't think it was going to work. For a second there, it looked like it wasn't going to, but it did. I couldn't be happier. Lars said, helping people is at the heart of what we do. So being able to help somebody in that kind of specific way, those opportunities don't come around too often, but when they do, you kind of jump on them. An elderly woman cried tears of joy when her daughter fulfilled her lifelong dream of petting a real penguin. Christine is a fan of all things penguin. Daughter Lindsay made her dream come true. A video shows the 76-year-old overcome with emotion after petting a penguin at SeaWorld in San Diego. Lindsay says, when I actually told her about the present, she didn't say any words. It was more like an excited noise. She associated herself with penguins because they're clumsy on land but graceful in the water. My mom was the same. She's an absolute klutz, but as soon as she gets in the water, she's so graceful. She's a big fan of penguins and has been collecting penguins her whole life. Toys, figurines, pencils, clothes with penguins on them, paintings, Christmas decorations, anything. When I got back, I lost count of how many times she said thank you. Here is an update on the Loch Ness Monster. Experts are convinced there's something out there. There were eight sightings in a year. Loch Ness Monster hunters claim to see black humps, a periscope, and even a 65 feet dark shape. Paul Nixon at the Loch Ness Center says there have been some exciting images, simply unexplained. They aren't made up. This year, we had more than 100 volunteers during Quest Weekend. There were TV crews from around the world, Australia, Canada. We've sparked new interest, and there's been the new technology available, like the heat-seeking drones. We've had unexplained noises. And due to the media interest, there's been sightings that have resurfaced, such as one from 2019 of an object with unexplained humps. It makes you wonder how many more sightings there have been. I'm not saying there's a big green monster or dinosaur out there, but there is something. We knew there's something big in the water. We know there are eels, but how big are they? Let's say there is a monster. Leave it alone. What are you going to do? Bother it? Just leave it alone. And that's your five good news stories for today. If you enjoy the program, tell a friend about it. They might enjoy it too. You have a great day.